Alright, so I was asked to do a uh, sort of tutorial for how I do moves well with keyboard and mouse. Um, I guess for starters I'll just give a few tips. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind is you want to press shift and escape for two-handing the bow and, and opening the menu as close together as you possibly can. Uh, with all the other key presses, there's obviously like the menu delay that you have to deal with, so you can't go like too fast, otherwise it won't work. But with shift and escape, you, you want to do them as close together as you possibly can. There's no reason you should wait. It just gives you a, like a longer period you have to do the move swap. Um, second tip would be to know what what hand positions you have to use to move swap and to be able to swap between them quickly and accurately. So like. For move swap, like if I'm playing normally, I've got like my hand on the mouse, fingers on WASD. But when I need to move swap, uh, I jump and then I move my left hand up to escape. So I kind of do like this. It's a pretty easy movement. And my right hand has to come over to the arrow keys to use these. And for the right hand, you want to be able to press up, down, right, and enter all fairly easily. It should be hard to find like a hand position where you can do that without having to move hand really at all. Um, I guess that's all for tips. When it comes to timing, um, for the menuing portion, uh, you really just need to know the menu delay in this game. Um, if you try to go too fast, it's not going to work. If you try to go too slow, it's not going to work. Uh, so you just need to find the, the happy balance. Another thing you should know is when you can actually cue the input, so you, when you can actually press shift and escape. If you do it too early, you're not going to get the cue. If you do it too late, you're not going to have enough time to do the move swap and it's going to fail. So when I do it is kind of just before my character hits the ground from the jump. It's kind of like now. I didn't actually press it that time, but now. And as you can see, I go through the two-handing animation. And because I, it's right around the first few frames when you can do it, like when you can cue an input. So you just have a ton of time through the rest of the move swap, and it's really easy. You can do it a lot later, and a lot of runners do. Like they do it when your character kind of hits the ground, so like, like that. But that's I don't know. Like sometimes it causes me to mess it up. I'm just, I'm just more consistent at doing it earlier. And I mean, if you do it earlier, you've got kind of uh, you can kind of play around with like your timing, so if you notice you're going a little bit too fast, you can kind of slow down a little bit and uh, to do the move swap, or if you're going too slow, you can kind of speed it up a little bit, so like, no, that was bad. I was trying too hard to to go too slow and then go too fast, but that's that's kind of hard to explain. That's kind of just feeling. Um, uh, I guess that's about all I can explain, is just know the key presses, know how to move your hands quickly between them. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do a move swap, so let's just say I'm playing, smashing some phases or something, and I don't know, I want to kill Petrus over here or something, because he's a dick. So I'm going to move swap, so look around my mouse, and jump, and... Oh wow. Of course I fail it in the tutorial, I, I literally never fail this. Anyway, let's try this again. So do it. Did it. I press the, uh, like I open the menu, as you can see, kind of right before my character hit the ground. And th that's about the speed you want to go at, is kind of like... Wow, okay. Like that. You don't want to go like, super super fast, like blazing fast as fast you can, because you're going to get input e inputs eaten. And you also kind of, you have to kind of go kind of fast, but not like really really fast. I just kind of think of it as a one 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 one. I say as I mess it up again. So kind of like one 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 one. That may have been slightly off tempo, but that's that's the best way I can think of. You don't want to go like one 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 um, because then you're going to fail it pretty much every time if you try to go too fast. If you're really having trouble, you can kind of try it like fat rolling. I'm gonna, there's no way I'm going to get this fat rolling because I'm going to go way too fast. No, I, 
went way too slow because I was thinking I was going to go too fast. Holy shit, I did it! Because um, that'll kind of allow you to get used to doing the sequence, and just the more you do it, the more you do it, the more you do it. You'll just get better at better doing the right sequence of, of button presses, and you can move down to like mid roll. That is really like a fast roll. That's interesting. Roll is actually fairly close to the to jumping. Yeah, it's it's also fairly different with rolling because with rolling you can start queuing immediately, whereas with the jump you don't want to do it as soon as you press jump. Um, so it's kind of different, but it'll again it'll just let you kind of get used to pressing the right sequence of buttons. So I'll just I guess I'll just do one more and then I'll cut the video. Maybe I'll try and say when I uh, when I start the sequence right now, and that is my move swap tutorial. Hope it helped.